Alright guys, so today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm using my M17 with the Grimberg 9CI 850 PSI output uh, tank. Got the Ninja regulator on there, ultralight. Um, I got this tuned to how I want it, right at 30 joules with the Grimberg HP 68 rounds. <clears throat> I have not tried Berna Kinetics where it's tuned at 30 joules, just a little bit over 30 joules, uh, about 30 and a half joules with the HP 68s. Um, so we're going to see how fast these go and we're going to do some math roughly on them so smg magwell burner kinetics m17 i don't know what's going to happen but we're about to find out right now nine shots Okay, full bottle of air. Let's see what happens. It might jam up on me simply because they're lighter rounds, but we will see. <clears throat> All right, nine shots. Here we go. Make sure everything's lit up. All right. All right, 450. Four forty-three. That will hurt bad if you get hit with one of these. Four forty one, pretty steady. Four forty two, not bad actually. Okay, I think that was a double shot. Four forty one, I think. Yep. Four thirty one. Four fifty four. I might not have been double shot. All right. 500 PSI gone. One more shot. Okay, that was an error on that one. We'll delete that one. Okay, put this on safe. Go ahead and turn the air off. All right, not too bad. Thought it would be higher, but um, this is why I don't like having crazy high jewels, you guys. Just because if I wanna put different projectiles in there, I can without them double shooting or whatever jamming so not too bad um, considering I mainly had this for more heavier rounds but um I was just curious to see what I would get so like share subscribe I got a I'm redoing my channel, you guys, so hopefully sometime this summer, um, there's going to be a lot of new content on here to keep up with 2024 and the way shit's going in the world today. So if you haven't subscribed, I personally suggest that you do. 
because you're going to gain a lot of uh, information with what's to come and not that far ahead. Three, four months, what's to come. Um, this content will help uh, whether you're disabled um, in certain cases. For seniors especially, this is going to help a lot. And for women, college doing it, for, for everyone can benefit from what I'm going to be throwing out there. So um, as long as YouTube doesn't block my videos. So let me know what you guys think and uh, hit that subscribe. What do you got to lose? What do you have to lose? Uh, hitting that subscribe and hitting that alert. You don't like the video, don't watch it. If you like the video and you watch it, you may gain some valuable information. You just don't know. So, your choice, guys. Um, but personally, what I'm going to be throwing out there, I'm planning to throw out there, uh, I would not want to miss. So, and I'm not going to give a hint or talk about what I'm throwing out there because there's a couple people on YouTube that always try to, they're basically copycats. I'm going to leave it at that. So when that time comes, you guys will see. So subscribe, hit those alerts. Although I'm going to say one thing, some of them copycats out there, they may be able to copy but they're not going to be able to explain what content I'm putting out there um, when I show it. So unless they have that knowledge and I can damn near guarantee they don't. So it is what that is. And um, like, share, subscribe because good stuff's to come. A lot of good stuff, you guys. More than just less lethal I'm going to be throwing on this channel. A lot more than just let less lethal. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm redoing this channel for this year come uh, summer. I'm still going to have less lethal like you guys have been seeing. I'm not knocking that off my channel. That's going to always be on my channel because less lethal plays a huge role. Uh, for self-defense, which I'm going to get into a lot of more detailed later. Um, but just to give you guys a quick idea of what I mean. If you guys watch that video, and if you're new, checking this video out as it's premiering. Um, go to my channel, check out the one with the prison bars. Uh, I was in that prison for a little while, not long, before I was transferred out. And, you know, so many of these guys say... Well, I own a firearm. I don't need no less lethal. Less lethal is a, is a toy. I'll just shoot that. I'll shoot that person. I'll kill him. Well, you know, let less lethal plays a role to keep you out of those jail or uh, prison, especially prison. Um, that's a difference with lethal and less lethal today lethal <sighs> firearms and, and i'm talking about mainly out in public you guys um i'm mainly talking about out in public i'll give you a quick rundown now you know watch that video as i kind of explain but you know in public if someone comes up and attacks you you know and I'm talking about, like, they don't have a weapon. Let's say there's two of them, two people, and they're attacking you. And I'm talking about, like, this fighting, you know, like most of these people do today. Um, higher percentage, that is, of them kind of attacks. And you pull out your gun and you shoot them. You know, I... You may think it ends right there with the law enforcement, the RO, the responding officer, the first on the scene that takes the report. That, that is not, that's 100% false. That is not where it ends at all. 
it ends once that report gets signed off on and then goes to the courthouse and the DA reviews that. That's where it ends if there's no charges to be brought. They decide ultimately if they want to charge you. And there's a lot of different ways that could go down. I'm not even going to get into that right now, but that's a difference out in public. If you're going to use a firearm, you better make damn well sure that that person has some kind of lethal, uh, something lethal on them that, that's considered lethal that they're attacking you with before you pull out like it's a wild west and start shooting. Another thing is to keep in consideration, I am going to throw out there right now, the way the world is today, if you're carrying a firearm and something like a situation like that occurred and you pull out your gun, even if you do not intend to use it just to buy you time to get them people to back off, and I'm pretty sure they would, um, who's to say the next person behind you don't think you're going to be an active shooter and uh, decide to take a shot and right in the back of your head and, in their view, end that threat before that threat had a chance to shoot? You got to take that in consideration also, you know. Uh, there's going to be a lot of you watching this, and if you still are, you're going to be probably leaving comments like, well, F a less lethal device. Well, you know what? That's fine. Have that mentality. I highly doubt, very highly doubt, you even own a firearm if you're leaving those comments. Because every time I click on your photo, you don't even have one video posted. Um... And all these other guys that are legit with firearms, they post videos, at least one on their channel with their firearm, which is more than one. Point being, uh, if you want to be one of those statistics and regret it and end up in prison, go for it. It's your life. Don't mislead other people who believe in firearms and less lethal or if less lethal is their only option because... You're, you're just a dumbass for doing that, for one thing. And I'm not, that's all I'm going to say with this video, you guys. That's, I can go on for a long time talking about that. But uh, something for you guys to consider. I'm going to be getting into a lot of different videos, um, talking points, too. Uh, there's a lot of good information I do have that I'm going to be putting out there in content. So... Basically, like I said, watch that video, you know, prison versus probation. You know, if you are charged with less lethal, you're probably going to get probation, maybe a couple days in jail, probably not even that. But if it came to that, I'd rather do a couple days in jail or not and be on probation than and be able to be with my family, and my family be able to see me, then end up in prison, and roll the dice, put it that way. And a lot of you guys out there who say, I'll just use my firearm, I can tell you right now, uh, since, and, and I'm not talking about everybody who owns a firearm, I'm talking about the trolls, the guys who say less lethal is a toy, it's a joke, it's no good, I'll use my firearm, you know, in my view, to you guys that I just had mentioned, you guys are nothing but freaking cowards, um, you don't know how to fight probably, and you're just a freaking coward, I'm, I'm gonna come out and say you're a coward, um, if you need to pull out your gun, like you, the way you guys leave certain comments and end that threat, you're a coward. You don't know how to fight physically. Uh, if you did know how to fight physically, you would have a better understanding of less lethal, um, the effects it will have versus being hands-on physical. Okay? Um you know, and, and 
there's a lot of guys out there real quick I was, this video is getting long I already didn't plan it like this but uh there's a lot of guys out there and women that own firearms that you know that can legally own firearms that are in high crime areas um that I can understand completely um out in public uh for the most part you know if you're in one of these major cities where crime is fucking skyrocketed 60 70 80 percent over the last few years that i can understand completely um whether you know how to fight or you or you don't honestly um i don't blame you guys but not wanting to take a chance with less lethal but um not every fight or attack out in public is going to be with a firearm. Understand that. Meaning that person who's intending to do you harm um, out in public, like a fist fight over a stupid altercation, let's say a parking spot, and, and they get out and you get out, you're arguing, and they come out and they got nothing in their hands, but they're swinging at you. That's an example where less lethal is comes in very handy. Uh, you pull out your gun and shoot. Someone's going to shoot you thinking you're an active shooter. You're going to go to prison. Maybe that's where you should be because you're fucking dumb to begin with. Um, they're doing that, putting everyone around you, their lives in danger, being reckless like that. Uh, I, I don't know. That That's one example. But there, there's, there's thousands of examples out there. And, you know, I do know people real quick that actually carry the burner on them. They conceal it. And then they open carry their firearm just for intimidation. Um, they carry both on them. So, you know, there, there, there there's more... firearm owners out there carrying both firearm and less lethal uh, than these trolls are out there carrying a firearm because every time I tell them post a video of your firearm post a 30 second video post a quick video just make a short 10 seconds I subscribe to your channel guess what they're nowhere to be found because they do not own a firearm um, if they did, I don't know what the big fucking deal is to post a quick short 10 seconds showing your firearm. Um, the real recognize the real, uh, the real people that are honest recognize these idiots who hide in their basement or they got no self-esteem they don't have any friends because their friends didn't want to put up with their idiot comments and they don't talk to them no more and they're left basically isolating themselves behind a keyboard um just to see how many followers that are also idiots that will go along with them. To me, those people are no different than a goddamn cult. They're, they're trying to form a, uh, some kind of YouTube cult where they communicate back and forth to see what other idiots believe it. Um, and that's just, that, that, that is going to get them other people who want to fit in somewhere injured or killed. By listening to them peel but that's the end of this one you guys it's almost 20 minutes long again um what can i say i like talking about this i like exposing those idiots because more people need to do that um this way when they leave a comment uh anyone else who reads it after they watch your videos they can have that in the back of their head. There's not enough people out there in the less lethal community and firearm community, any community with self-defense, home defense, 
that uh, basically puts and talks about these idiots leaving those comments. And I encourage you all to leave more comments like that because these idiots need to be exposed. And if you're one of those idiots watching this and you're going to leave a comment, I would think twice because I'll tell you right now, a lot of you out there don't know this, but there's a way, and I'm not going to say how, but there's a way I can literally go on your YouTube channel, even if you don't have no videos posted and it's a fake profile, I can still click on your channel and I can find out where you live. I can find out your relatives. I can find out your family members, your neighbors, your phone numbers your P.O. box I can find out everything about you I'm not going to tell you guys how to do that because if there's stalkers out there I don't want them stalking women but um yeah so you idiots who leave those comments think twice I'm not one of them people but it's going to catch up to you eventually and the best thing of it is You will never see it coming because you don't know who you pissed off behind that video. So, something for you trolls out there to think about. And I seriously mean think about that because you think you can hide behind YouTube um, and not post videos and leave comments. And that's the end of it. That's not the end of it. There's ways out there, so... And trust me, I've already done it. I've already done it to a friend. And they've done it to me just to see if that theory works. And guess what? Oh yeah, it worked. So, <clears throat> you want to talk about self-defense, you guys, and home defense? There's one prime example. Don't piss someone off on their YouTube channel because you don't know what they're capable of. And you have no idea how easy it is. It takes less than 10 minutes to do. So that's it for this one, you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Um, give those thumbs up. If you agree with what I said in this video, hopefully you watched it all the way through. Uh, leave those comments. Um, leave those comments and... There will be short videos, shorts, different durations, durations of the video content I put out. Um, a little bit for everyone. The more I get in detail with valuable information for you guys, the videos probably will be a little longer, but... If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. You can always wait till after premiere, fast forward, rewind, all that good stuff. So keep that in mind. So that's it for this, you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and um, stay safe out there. Don't never let your guard down. The minute you let your guard down, you're going to be vulnerable. I'll get more into that later, but you got common sense, so I'm pretty faithful. You understand what I mean by that majority of you so uh like share subscribe that's it for this one i'll see you on my next video and um stay safe don't let less lethal fool you less lethal hurts trust me i got a scar from the burna sd on my shin so less lethal isn't no joke. Like, share, subscribe.